Okay, we're here in Longview, Texas at the Teague Veterans Memorial Park. This got it pretty much open. Gonna have the ceremony for it on the 5th. There's gonna be a big flyover from Barksdale Air Force Base. Uh, Governor Abbott's supposed to make an appearance here. But got monuments and memorials all over for just about everyone for every war we ever been in. The only one they don't have up for now is the one for all the cavalry horses and the Native Americans that have served. But that is in the works as we speak. That is a globe that was made by the welding students at the local trade school. There's numbers all over it showing where our troops have been. And right here is the marker showing what took place at those locations. Right up there. See that little white sign? That's going to be the World War I. So, they haven't got that one done yet. replica of the Vietnam wall in DC. It matches identically, it's just a smaller version. Goes all the way down. Uh, pan back around. Along the water's edge, they get the placards for all five branches plus the merchant marines. Here is, I'll tell you about 
or Vietnam War. Hell of a swirl. It's a beautiful day today. Couldn't be much nicer. And over there, it's a wall, it's got all, you can see from here, it's all different names. Sorry, I can't seem to hold it steady today. And it'll be all those panels will eventually be filled in. That in the background is for the Purple Heart winners. And there's a, uh, the Lone Soldier. This is for all the women that served. Show you the back side. Come back over here for a minute. This one is to honor all the families left behind. A few years ago, this place was trashed. Had problems with drug dealers, hookers, all kinds of vile people. But the city really came through and cleaned it up, man. Did a great job. They had a beautiful memorial park out here for all the veterans. There's the wall with some of the names. We got two panels of the whole thing filled in. The goal is to eventually have them all done. Or is it free? It's a hundred dollar donation to have a name put on the wall and it's well worth it I think.
correct my fault. They got three panels filled in now. And here in the center, it's not complete yet, but that right there is pink marble, believe it or not. And what they're going to do is be a little waterfall built into it. And with what I'm told is correct, they're going to have a like a thick plexiglass or some kind of glass on the front with all the names of those who died in combat from this area with the waterfall and it's going to be lit up. Should look great when they get it done. If they can get the rest of the funds they need. And over here, this is great. You guys are going to love this. This is for the POWs. Sorry for my shadow, the sun's behind me. And right there is a memorial for our canine buddies that we've lost. And the same welding students that made the globe made this. What's unique about this you look you see it's made out of pieces of chain spark plugs old tools uh, handcuffs and you can see a gun that they welded into it wrenches uh, I think there's even a part of a hand grenade in here somewhere padlocks Horseshoes, uh, old round spark plugs, gut. but it's beautiful work. And the last one is the placard for the canines. Check it back out here. So if you're ever in Longview, Texas, it's Teague Park or Veterans Memorial Park. It's the same thing. It's pretty much in the center of town. And it's on Marshall Highway or Highway 80. Again, they're both the same thing. So if you ever get a chance and you're passing through, I highly recommend you stop here. And believe it or not, this pond is stocked with fish. Hey everyone, thank you for watching, God bless you all, and please don't forget our troops still overseas fighting for us.